Hi Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So, um, for anything else, I just want to say that this is a general reading. So it may or may not resonate and tune into every Scorpios out there. So just keep that in mind. And if you want a personal reading with me, you can do that on my website in the stars by Christy.com. Now, this is actually my second recording for Scorpios and I know I'm taking a lot of time with this January reading. I, I got sick and I have this technical difficulties. I don't know why. So um, yeah, I was recording earlier. For some reason, the audio was not recorded. So, which is very funny because it is quite similar to the message that I was saying in that in the Scorpio reading. So I'll just go there <laughs> as we go along. So like I was saying earlier, I feel that for Scorpios, this month of January 2020 is going to be, it's not going to be action pack of events, but it's really more about the energies that are very strong and very intense that you might be feeling and experiencing as a whole. And I kind of feel that this is quite similar to the Libra reading. I just kind of feel that it's a lot more intense for you guys because you're really feeling it in a very deeper and sometimes darker level. Like you're feeling things a lot to a point where it's affecting your life. It's like being unable to sleep at night there's a lot of things that are bothering you a lot of things that is haunting you and there is a lot of past energies right here we do have the six of swords with the star and the eight of cups with the emperor card so this could be a very special person in your life maybe you know a scorpio man maybe and you are wanting to be hopeful and for the future but at the same time you are you wanted to move something forward in your life but there's a lot of hesitations that is happening here it's just like you know when i was recording and i thought i i have record something wherein there is no audio so it's like you are ready for something in your life you're ready to take action you are ready to set the sail and you know go ahead and travel take action but for some reason no voice is coming up so it's coming in very strongly here like you wanting to take action you do have this page of cups along with the ten of swords telling us that you are ready for something you are wanting to set things forward there is something that you want to confront maybe something in your past you wanting to you make peace with it but for some reason with the nine of swords over here and the ace of pentacles it's like you wanted to do something but you are unable to do it completely something is holding you back there is a lot of fear a lot of anxiety you are feeling you are sensing right now and there is really just so much emotions right here i kind of feel that in your past you have the devil card and the ten of swords over here this is you know something very strong like very powerful emotion has happened to you in your past definitely and which has led you to some form of big disappointment big devastation maybe someone has led you down and you know and all you can just think about are just negatives you know you are unable to see the positive in a certain scenario maybe because of some form of betrayal or maybe you're just you know you're facing your own devil you're facing your own fears there's a lot of things 
I kind of feel that for some of you, like maybe you are assuming things, imagining things, and all you can imagine are dark thoughts and dark feelings, and which may be true or may not be true, of course. But I just kind of feel that your past has some form of a history. There is a history right there, and I kind of feel that for some reason, this is not a past that you can take lightly, because yes, it has led you to a lot of disappointments, a lot of heartache, a lot of you know emotions. There, you might be hating this person as well. But for some reason, I just kind of feel that you do love this person. There is some form of real love and deep feelings that you have for this, and you do want to make it right. You want to start it all over again, but you don't want to go back to that person for the heck of it. You are not looking. To be in a relationship with someone because you want to be in a relationship because you want a companion, it's not like that. I kind of feel that you know you are at the point of your life where and you wanted some form of real, some form of real connection with someone, someone that you can really trust, someone that you can really you know, uh, be your partner in crime, that kind of energy, someone who can be there for you through thick and thin, and. Someone who can accept you for who you are, and not just judge you from the things that you have done, the things that you do, and the things that you're doing and about to do, those kinds of things. The someone who is not going to allow just anything to happen to you, but they do know, you know, they can teach you, they can reprimand you. You're not just looking for someone to be your personal cheerleader or anything like that. You want someone like a life partner as an equal. So, and I feel that for a lot of you guys, maybe this person that you have in mind, the person that you are focusing and feeling right now, because I kind of feel that more than anything, more than just your thoughts about this person, you are feeling their own energy. So it's like I kind of feel that January is like a lot of flashbacks about the past, thinking about the about the past. Wanting to reconcile with that person, but for some reason, you also don't have that guts to actually talk to them. There are fears, so maybe things ended up really badly between the two of you, and you don't know how to reconnect with them. You don't know how to make things right, even though. You do want to restart the relationship.、Uh, you do want to reconcile. We, this three of cups pop up for your reading when I was shuffling the, the deck. It fell off to the floor, so I kind of feel that. And it's not always about reconciliation. You know, the three of cups is about the feelings, feeling good, wanting. Some form of joy and harmony in your life, and maybe wanting to make peace with that relationship in place as well. But you, you know, yes, you do want for things to get better. But I kind of feel that there's a lot of complications happening for you right now. And like I said, there is a lot of regrets, a lot of anxieties that you are having at this time. It's like you wanting, you wanted to reach out to someone, or someone wants to reach out to you, but they don't know how they can do that. It's like I don't know. It it feels like there is something that is preventing them to contact you, or maybe. They are just, you know, there's just a lot of something really has happened. Okay, that is that it is really so hard for them to, you know, to brush things off. So I kind of feel that this is not about a relationship that happened overnight or anything like that. It's not a relationship just few months ago. I kind of feel that this could be a relationship that 
made an impact in your life and affected you for for so many years maybe this is a relationship that is old you know it could be a decade long relationship or you know years of a relationship wherein you thought that this person is going to be your marriage partner and then suddenly things did not work out things have fallen apart and it has created you a lot of devastation of course we do see here that you know it's like the, you cannot even sleep and even though that some of you are sleeping at this time <laughs> or have can sleep it's like you're sleeping but at the same time there's a lot of things in your head a lot of whispers going on in your head a lot of words a lot of haunting is being is happening to you one way or another and it's causing you a lot of misery and you may be okay you are showing the world that you are okay you're showing other people that everything is cool with you i just kind of feel that internally though you might be feeling something else you're not really happy emotionally that for sure i can say because it shows here that there's a lot of regrets a lot of hesitations as well you are looking back and as much as i want to tell you that you are looking forward with life you are positive and you are futuristic i just kind of feel that you know this month of january you are really reflecting about your entire life and what truly matters for you what is very important to you what is really dear to your heart it's not just about feeling good or having fun i just kind of feel that you're focusing on what is worth it and what you really want to manifest into the world what you want to bring what kind of relationship you want or is there someone in specific that you truly want to be with you do want to be happy you do want to have that, that some form of harmony back in your life some form of positivity and our outcome card we do have the queen of cups and the two of pentacles and i mentioned this earlier that this could be you know the queen that you are in because this could be a scorpio man or this could be you know you could be dealing with a scorpio man and this may be what they're going through right now or this could be you know you or you know it could be vice versa i kind of feel that you know this could be a situation wherein you will come into terms of having the determi determination to to resolve something to take action in something but it's not going to be easy because like i said there are a lot of fears that is holding you back at this time it's like right now the reason why you are feeling the way that you are feeling is because maybe they are feeling it the same way that you do and things are colliding right now the energies and all that the two of you have this strong connection and that you know everything is just wanting to explode maybe the two of you are just being stubborn and you know even though the two of you can connect to each other and you just chose not to connect but i kind of feel that your soul is crying right now and really wanting to form this connection with someone in the past someone that you want to be with still that can really make you complete because this person makes you complete even though they are not perfect they become the perfect man or the perfect woman for you that kind of energy we do have the, pe the pentacles here two of pentacles and as you guys can see this man is not stable he is juggling the two coins and there is no balance no grounding he's working his way on there and that is really the idea for january you are working your way to resolve this you are working your way with your queen of cups and 
it will make you feel worried but i kind of feel that the idea here and the most important thing is that right now you are thinking of the possibility of wanting to make things better and i kind of feel that the things that are holding you back you are going to have the determination to face them overcome them and take the action to improve something because all the most important thing that i can really pick up here is about making an effort as you guys can see with this two of pentacles he is making an effort to balance things out despite the waves of ocean <laughs> you know it's not really the best weather for them but they're still trying to balance things out so you might be coming to a point where and you wanting to restore something rebalance something it could be the relationship but for i kind of feel that for the most part of january you are going to be feeling the emotions of the past the memories of the past so that you will be able to reflect and know what to do in the future if you still want to bring that person in i kind of feel here that this could be a very complex scenario because i kind of feel that this is not just a betrayal it's like something has let you down it's not something very unhealthy but for some reason things did not work out you know i just keep getting that message that things did not work out things did not work out but for some reason i still want this person in my life i still want to connect with this person there is just so much that i want to do with this relationship and i kind of feel that you know at the end of the day it may not exactly happen on january maybe it be you know february or so or maybe second half or you know end of january i don't know i just kind of feel that you will come into terms of of what is haunting you and having that will to break the patterns that are causing you difficulties at this time so um yeah there is really that energy you are really you know you will find out what love is all about and you will see if this love is really worth it or not either way you are going to have this queen of cups whoever this is this could be you or this could be um the other person you know vice versa i just kind of feel that yes you might spend a lot of time having this change having this very transformational energy coming through to you because this is going to be very transformational one way or another and it is going to affect you in a very psychological level as well but it is forcing you and helping you so that some form of change can happen in terms of your love life and your relationship all at the same time and it's very funny because i drew this astro dice and it is the venus in the sign of pisces in the fourth house and i as i was uploading this video actually this is the day that venus entered in the sign of pisces as well so maybe you know all of this shift is going to manifest once venus goes into the sign of pisces which is which means from this end on to the end of uh, january on to next month so um yeah and this has a lot to do with the fourth house fourth house is our parents our family life our marriage life our emotions as a whole so there could be some form of emotional happiness emotional healing can be done we are you know more forgiving at this time or at the very least we are going to forgive someone we are ready to forgive and we are willing to take the chance and make the effort it's not easy okay with all these cards that are showing up here 
I assure you, it's not going to be easy. And it's not going to be, you know, it's not as if you can just forgive and forget. Um, it's not that easy. I kind of feel that your situation, whoever I'm picking up right now, you have a very complex situation, a complex relationship happening at this time. So things are not just easy, but you do have real feelings with this person. And you are going to make your way to amend this and do something. I just kind of feel that you are going to see things that you have not seen before. Even though they are very easy and clear to see. You are going to notice something and you are going to feel something. Your advice card, we have here the love from your parents. Which is very ironic because... Uh, we have the fourth house here which is also the parents so this could be you know something to do with your family life or with your parents as a whole i just kind of feel that this could be with a relationship that is not new it is something from it's like you have years of relationship with this person or this could be like a decade relationship that has really devastated you one way or another so and it's like telling you that you know you are still being loved you're still being loved by this person they still feel the same way to you i did pick a clarification card just for the heck of it and i got here the romance angels are helping you so this could be a relationship that you feel is a lost cause and all you feel is regret but i kind of feel that something the universe some form of divine order is helping the two of you to be together again to have some form of reconciliation in the air some form of meeting can be done and you know confronting the person facing the person is very very possible at this time as well so at the end of the day, this clearly is going to tell us that there's going to be healing going to be done for you in a very emotional level, which will heighten up everything for you um, as you move forward with your life. There is going to be some form of help one way or another, some form of improvement in terms of your relationship is going to manifest. And your angels, your guides, your, you know, some form of insight can come to you right now that helps you to take action what necessary steps you have to do you have to make so i'm not telling you guys to go and fi be fixated with your past that's not really the case here it's just that it's telling you that to listen more to your heart and what you truly feel because at the end of the day this is really what you can do and to follow through what you truly feel and send all your fears and worries to god or to the angels or to whom you believe send loving thoughts to that person if you want to i just kind of feel that there is going to be a conclusion in, t in the in this relationship won't well, maybe a confront confrontation or trying to work things out apologizing can happen and trying to you know there is really some form of hard work and effort being done here but it's being done in a very compassionate manner i feel so yeah do listen to yourself listen to your heart and listen to your own intuition check your dreams your dreams can be telling you something as well so um yeah take notice of that and follow what your inner self is telling you so that is really the biggest message over here i kind of wish that i have just uploaded the first recording because i feel that there was a lot of information i said right there that i may not have might might not have remembered right now but um yeah i kind of feel that i did say everything so there is going to be help 
going to be happening. I do advise that you watch the Libra reading as well. Um, I just kind of feel that one way or another, this reading is correlated with them because they do have similar energies working through. So, um, yeah, improvements and hope and good luck is going to be for you for the month of January. It's going to be, you know, psychological effects that helps you take actions later on. But it will help you to see the truth and clarity on a situation that you're going through right now. So thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And I hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your situation. And I hope that it will connect with some of you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys again on my next video on February 2020.